Today, on top of this mountain, in front of our loved ones, I, Stephanie, take you, Steve, to be my husband and equal partner in life. To love you unconditionally, to never stop trying in our relationship, to support you in everything that you do, to always appreciate your kindness, to forever be grateful as we build up our home, to do my best to prevent the grump, <laughs> <laughs> to be your co-pilot every day for the rest of our lives. I love all of you and everything beyond you, including your hopes and dreams. I know that any challenge life throws at us, as shown by this weekend, we can get through it because we, we have each other and we can get through it together. Everything in life is better with you. My heart still explodes every time I see you. <laughs> I cannot believe how lucky I am that you wanted to marry me. <laughs> You're the most amazing man I've ever met. I give you my whole heart. I cannot wait to live life with you. I love you. Stephanie, meeting you has been the best highlight of my life. As improbable as a falling pine cone, gracing you on the head <laughs> with a little luck mid hike, I feel blessed to be standing before you today to take you as my wife, my best friend, and my lifelong partner in marriage. Like a long hike, marriage is going to be challenging. It has its ups and downs and never ending bends. Over the last three and a half years, we've been through so much together. We've attended many ballets and concerts, skied and hiked over thousands of miles together. And recently we bought a home together, arguing over which credenza would best fit into the space. Sadly though, there were also hard times. The passing of your grandmother Norma and senior pup Frosty was difficult then and still lives on in both of our memories. And it's a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw a shout out to Elsa a little bit. <laughs> and through these all ups and downs, I got a chance to admire your strength, uh, perseverance and compassion towards uh, others and myself. And I'm excited to be wed to you. I love you, Stephanie Nelson. And so I, Steve Chukuleba, 
promise to love you, Stephanie, <laughs> above all others. I promise to be patient, honest, faithful, and kind. I will lift you up in your times of failure and engage your thoughts as my equal. With these vows, I give you my hand and my heart from this day forth and for all the days of my life. Take each other's hands so that you guys can see the gifts that they are gonna to be to both of you. These are the hands of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you laugh and cry. Stephanie, these are the hands that will create art with you. And Steve, these are the hands that will keep you out of trouble. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear or grief engulf your heart. These are the hands that when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching out for yours. These are the hands that will tuck your children in at night. May these hands always be held by one another. Give them strength to hold on during storms of stress and the dark of disillusion. Keep them tender and gentle as they nurture each other. Help these hands build a family full of grace. Steve, take this ring and place it on Stephanie's finger. But as you do, repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise you shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter and my arms be your home. Stephanie, your turn. Take this ring, put it on Steve's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise you shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter and my arms be your home. Steve. You take Stephanie to be your wife, to live with her in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor her and keep her in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live. Stephanie, do you take Steve to be your husband, to live with him in marriage, to love him, to honor him and keep him in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live? Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, with the powers vested in me by the state of Utah and the shady online church, uh, it is with great pleasure and a massive amount of humility that I now introduce you to our newlyweds. You may now kiss a friend.